Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Maria Goretti called the Saint Agnes of the 20th century this modern martyr of purity was born the third of seven children of a farm laborer at Corinaldo in the Italian province of Marche never able to attend school she did however receive a thorough grounding in Christian virtue from a devout though illiterate mother Assunta who among other things taught her the catechism of the Catholic Church from memory when Maria was 9 her family moved to Netuno near Rome for reasons of employment the year following her father Luigi died Maria then spoke to even more complete charge of the household including the smaller children while her mother went out to labor in the employer's farm when at the age of 11 Maria made her long desired first communion after having attended special spiritual exercises in preparation which left a profound impression on her she had always been a model of obedience of modesty and of purity and had an innate horror of offending Jesus by any sin but now she redoubled her efforts to please her lord and to be helpful to everyone going to confession involved a 7 mile walk each way but maria counted that as nothing when it concerned fulfilling a spiritual obligation an evil minded young farm hand whose family was quartered in the same building thrice attempted to seduce the young maria and when she resolutely rejected all his advances he stabbed her innumerable times in a desperate fury maria died a resigned and holy death the following day on the 6th of july 1902 having at a confessor's urging pardoned her assailant and prayed for his conversion the latter belly escaped being lynched by the town's folk but had to spend 29 years in prison during which time he experienced a complete metanoia through a vision he had of the little martyr maria's aged and partly paralyzed mother as well as the assailant himself had the unique honor and privilege of being present at a canonization on the 25th of june 1950 an event which attracted such enormous holy year crowds that even saint peter's basilica huge as it is could not contain them and the ceremony had for the first time in history to be held in the open square in front